Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick walk around of our Airbnb short-term rental cabin uh, we have down here. I did a video earlier of the construction of it, of when, when we built it, and uh, it, was, it was pretty neat to watch, but this is the finished product. Um, so we got a good size refrigerator, microwave, 50 inch, TV, coffee maker, dishwasher, stove. I mean, we got all of the, all the comforts of home. Nice, comfortable couch. Um, that's the upstairs, the loft. I'm gonna take you up there in a minute. There's the stairs going up to it. Um, the bed, the lower level bedroom is, uh, is decent size. Um, got a queen bed in it, and it's got memory foam mattress, real comfortable. Uh, coming out here, the, the big windows are just, I mean, it's magnificent. It's beautiful out there. Um, got heat and air. I'm going to go up. I'm going to shut the film off and go upstairs. Okay, this is the upstairs loft uh, looking out towards the, the creek. Turning around, this looks out towards the woods. Uh, up here you have two twin beds. Once again, memory foam mattress, real comfortable. Um, looking out these windows is just really cool. Like when the creek's flowing down there, you can see it. I don't know if you can quite see it on this film or not, but pretty, pretty nifty deal. Okay, I saved what I feel is the best for last. Uh, that's the bathroom. You got a full, uh, Full washer and dryer, full size, uh, you know, toilet sink, uh, you know, plenty of towels and plenty of stuff like that that you might have forgotten. But check out this shower. A friend of mine built this shower for me and he just does magnificent work. It's just incredible. I think it's the best feature of the whole cabin. I really like it. It's just really neat. Okay, that was the inside. Let's have a look around the outside. Okay, I've got gravel all the way from the road at the gate. So once you come in here, you could, you know, the gate will close behind you. You come down the the gravel road you got plenty of parking here i mean while we've been working on it i've been easy to park you know three or four vehicles so parking's not a problem the outside of the cabin coming around to the back over here uh here's your little house for the propane it's where my propane tank is in there that's your internet up there house has internet and it's all hooked to the tv and everything Coming around the back side. Just turn this around. Uh, there's a heat and air unit. Front porch, you have a grill. You have four chairs, they all stack. If you don't want them there, you can just stack them up and put them out of the way. Uh, you have like an outdoor area here where I've got some outdoor furniture and a fire pit where you know you can have fire if, if weather's permitting, you can have a campfire. Uh, and then quite naturally you have the creek where it comes and makes a little horseshoe bend right here and goes up and down and i was down in there yesterday i had a few coon traps set down in there and and uh there's beaver working up and down the creek and wild hogs all up and down the creek have been rooting so it's it's pretty neat the cabin sits on this bluff right on the right on the banks of the creek uh, the creek's just a short walk away uh, we could we can walk down there and I can show just a little walk down through the woods. There's a little trail that leads you right to the creek. I'm trying to give you an idea of what the place looks like in the winter time. It's absolutely beautiful in the, in the spring. All the dogwoods and red buds are blooming. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some pics of that in the spring. But as you can see, a little short walk down here and you're at the creek. Uh, look at all these tracks. Look at all these tracks. These are all hog tracks, deer tracks, coon, everything down through here. And then here's the creek. 
it's pretty much like this all the way up through there with these gravel bars throughout and uh, a lot of guys like to come up here and hunt for arrowheads and and stuff like that they find a lot of arrowheads in this creek but uh, just a small look at the creek so that's just a quick walk around of, of what you could expect to see when you get here uh, we do offer hunts we got uh, really good deer hunting really good uh, hog hunting and and quail hunting i i raised quail uh, i didn't last year uh, i have in previous years last year we spent a little too much time in alaska to get the timing down right to raise the quail but we got that all figured out this year and so we're probably going to have some hunts uh some quail hunts so get at me let me know it's a, it's going to be a short-term rental or as long as you want really uh you could book it on airbnb vrbo as where it's listed so far or you know get at me directly there's other options uh either way let me know i'm easy to contact thank you